Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Joshua Casper back at you with Audio Thing, and it is my extreme pleasure to introduce to you their newest plugin, Valves. Valves is a vintage valve emulation plugin with multi mode resonant filter and cabinet EQ section. The valve section is modeled after classic vintage tubes with up to 16 times oversampling for extra precision and quality. Valves can be used to add that authentic tube character to your tracks. The filter section is modeled after a classic ladder filter with two or four pole options and multiple modes, including low pass, high pass, band pass, and notch. The filter can also be located post or pre valve in the signal chain. The cabinet and EQ section features a selection of modeled cabinets with classic bass and treble EQ controls. You can easily emulate several types of guitar amplifiers and further shape the overdrive sound here. This plugin combines and replaces the old valve filter and valve exciter plugins. So let's throw valves on some guitar and see what it can do. Okay, so I've just got the initial patch here. Let's go ahead and bypass it and just hear what we have. So first of all, this is the guitar we're working with. And right out of the gate, the initial patch makes it warmer. It does roll off some of those higher end frequencies, but that's quite typical. So we have the valve section, the cabinet EQ section, and the filter section and with a master section as well. Each one of these main sections can be turned off or on with these switches. So if you just wanna go ahead and bypass the filter or the EQ over here, it's easy enough to do. Let's go ahead, in fact, and turn off the cabinet and turn off the filter and just concentrate on the valve over here. I'm gonna go ahead and play the guitar and tweak out these parameters, including the triode and pentode switch, the drive, the bias, and tone amounts. You might also notice that the graphic here is lighting up with the incoming audio signal, and I think that's just a nice little extra touch there. So moving on from the valve, let's check out the cabinet and EQ section. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. I have bypassed valve, just so you know. We can choose the type of cabinet here. As you can see here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different styles. Each one has a truly unique character. So let's go ahead and check them out. So on top of the cabinet types, we also have a bass and treble EQ knobs over here for quick EQing. I'm gonna go ahead and bypass this. Let's move over to the filter, turn it on. We can go pre or post the valve section. For right now, it doesn't matter because the valve section is bypassed. To change the filter type, you click right here and we have these different filter types to choose from. And then you have your standard cutoff and resonance controls. It's a really nice filter, it sounds phenomenal. And from there we have the input gain, the mix knob, and the output gain. So it is quite easy to dial in something that sounds really good. If you're looking for a more warm vintage sound or a really aggressive distorted sound, you can really get it all using valves. There's also preset save function here. We can randomize if we want. It 
just sounds so good. Uh, if you right click these, you can actually lock them from the randomizer. So let's say the mix, for example, I always want to be quite high. Right, right click, randomizer, lock. And now the mix knob isn't moving as I randomize, which is going to be quite helpful, especially if you have it on like 100% on a return track or something. To remove it, just right click again and click unlock and boom, we're unlocked. You'll also notice that the randomizer turns off and on these different sections as well, which is something to look out for. Again, you can lock that easily enough though. If, let's say you never want to filter on it. Just lock down that filter on the off position and you'll be good to go. Inside of the main menu here, we have the oversampling option, which is always very nice to have in a plugin up to 16 times. That's a lot. Uh, be careful with CPU, obviously, when you're doing stuff like that. You can change this GUI size, copy and pasting presets, registration. It's quite easy. You can view the online manual and, of course, the about page. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and run valves on this guitar a little bit more and just see what we can do to get it to sound a little bit better. And by the way, double clicking any of these will set them back to their normal positions. So anyway, that's a very quick overview of valves and what it has to offer. I highly suggest using it on things like guitars, drums, bass, anything that deserves a little bit of extra love and care with saturation and coloration. Anyway, I'm Joshua Casper here for Audio Thing. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.